What is up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? This is Deathwish with Grandmaster Gamers. I was recently given a program called Liquivid. Now, I was asked to review the program, and I said that I would. So, without further ado, let me open up uh, in our Liquivid. And let me explain this program and what I like about it, what I dislike about it. Um... What I like about this program is it's simple. You don't have to open up Photoshop or Vegas Pro to edit a video or a photo. So this provides really quick fixes. So let's say if you want to op open up a video, basic, you want to sharpen it, add noise, add color, rotate it, and I'll get into the input in a sec, but you can do all this on the fly and then just hit quick export and it saves it to your desktop and is good to go this is what I dislike about this the basic mode is too basic it honestly it could have more options but it's kind of a small complaint because it is a very simple program and it's good for changing some simple things on the fly and you don't want to do all this extra work and opening up another program that's going to take a while to actually get in change it and then save it and do all this extra crap this is just a quick get in fix save and get out that's what I like about this program the advanced mode Yes, it's there. The advanced mode isn't that much more advanced, but it's pretty simple. In fact, this should probably be in the more basic form of of it. Um, what I don't like about this is you don't really have that much freedom. You can't really open up a second uh, window. Not that I've noticed. You can like fill it or go in or zoom in or whatever, which is cool. I mean, it's not like I'm complaining about that. But this is probably the most favorite thing I love about this program and why I'm giving it a good review it's the output options. I hate going into GIMP or Photoshop to change the size or the format of a photo. I absolutely hate it. I cannot stand it. And this, I want to change it to PNG. There, it's done. I hit export, it's there. If I want to change the size, and this is what I like about the size. Um, I think Steam has 184 by 184. And there you go, you can change it to PNG by 184 to 184, and you can add this profile picture to Steam. And the, and with Steam, if it's too big, Steam won't allow you to add it, and you have to change the size. And that's what's always driving me nuts, and I hated opening up GIMP to fix a, uh, to fix a photo. This fixes that for you, and I love it. Uh, that is just, that sold me on this program right there, hands down, flat out. I loved that I can switch it on the fly without having to open it up and do all this extra work. Um, what I don't like about this is when you open up a project or if you re-edit something, it doesn't actually let you set it back to default. That kind of bothers me. Um, I like to be able to mess with it, set it back to default, and redo it. Because I wanted to mess with it a bit, send it back to default, and show you guys from scratch the review process that I was doing and what I liked about it and what I didn't like about it. I don't like the fact that it doesn't let you refresh the, pro or the project. That kind of sucks. It's a major con. At least to me. Um, I'm going to show you the second major con, what, what I've noticed. And this is probably the biggest one that that is going to drive me nuts, and you'll know why. Okay, now here's the new photo I made. You can see how small it is. It's the uh, correct size that I are close enough to the correct size. This is the actual photo right here. It's much bigger, much more detail. Everything's in there. You go into properties. Now I set it to 184, but the dimensions stuck to one our one to one ratio. It never gave me the option to change the one to one ratio. It just forced the one to one ratio, even though I did put uh, 184 by 184. So it kept that ratio, even though I didn't want it. Now I know that to some people that's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal to me. But if I was trying to make a photo and it was too picky. I'm going to want that, and that's something I would love to see in a future update if any developers are listening. But that was a major con to me, is that I couldn't give the option to change from, or to lock the ratio, to, or to unlock the ratio, so I could actually widen it up and do what I had to do with it. But, again, it's simple. Some people aren't going to be using this for um, Steam or websites or profiles or YouTube or whatever. Some people are going to be using this just to switch up a family photo or whatever fit, or fit it all into one photo frame so they can print out a photo and put it in a frame or whatever they want to do, which is cool. You know, it fixes it. It might make it easy for them. 
so it's not that much of a con it's just like personal preference that is something or personal experience that is something that most definitely should be there and it's not so but again the fact that that's there and the way it is it still beats the hell out of what else I've seen so definitely give it a thumbs up to that part as for rotating rotating is the simple thing you can do rotating in windows uh, paint uh, changing the color levels is also just as easy as paint uh, this is probably a little easier in the sense it does it on the fly but that's another thing if you change the photo there is no default button so if I set the auto levels um, I, there's there's just no default button so if you change a color you better hope you got it right because if you exit out and try to restart and come back and you want to get that fo the uh, color just right you can turn off the color that sets it back to default but if you want to set it back to default while you're still adjusting it again there's no option for that they need to add an option for that um, the noise on the photo again uh, yeah you can adjust the levels so that's good I don't really use noise that much so I can't really give too in-depth of a review with that but it's it's good that it's there and so is sharpness now I have used sharpness from time to time so it's good that that's there as well as you can see the sharpness is getting really sharp there um, I, I do like the fact that there is a scaler for that and that it wasn't locked and the distortion yeah, the distortion is pretty uh, straightforward as well um, this one you can't really tell too much about the distortion on this but uh, you can change the camera that you're getting the distortion from but I'm, I'm not going to mess too much with that so uh, yeah I mean other than that from those few cons, which I'm pretty sure they can fix pretty easily, if they fix that, this program would be exactly what you need to make some quick fixes on the fly. Um, now, we're going to do videos because this does do videos as well. Now, you're not going to be doing any like hardcore videos because you can load up two projects at once um, and run, run through them, but you, I don't think you can really cut... Um, I don't think you can cut have uh, parts of the video out or merge them together. Now I'm going to try it here. I haven't really done too much, but I'm going to try it uh, live. This would be basically live during the review. Um, again, with the output, the output's there as well. Both videos have two different um, outputs. Uh, this is shot on my phone, so you can see it's not that big. Shot on my phone size is uh, 320 by 240 and shot in MP4 high quality. This one was shot in, I believe, 720p. Yeah, 720p in my backyard on a much better camera. Now, this one, uh, MP4, again, high quality. Oh, wait, what the hell's going on? Okay, so the program's having a little bit of a hard time. And I will admit this. I have tried the video one time before, and this is when I was rendering the video. The rendering's pretty quick on this. Um... It crashed out during one of the renderings and I reopened it and I was able to restart the render right where it left off so that was another big plus that's usually something you'd see with a, a higher-end video editing program so I was really impressed to see that the way it was and as you can see my program actually crashed while playing that so I don't know if this is something wrong with my computer because I do kind of need to reformat but um, I noticed whenever I do need to uh, like restart this, it usually starts back up right where it was without any issue. So let's see if that starts. The app was not shut down properly last time. Maybe it crashed. Okay. Boom. Importing files. Boom. Right back where it was before. So that's good. That does save what you were doing. You don't have to worry too much. Again, there you should see the video's playing again. It doesn't crash this time, so it was probably an error on my computer side. Um, I've only had this program crash once before, including while I was recording this, which is, uh, I'm going to have to leave it in because it's honest review. Now let's, let's see here. Now we're going to change the colors with this one. It's going to analyze the video. It's going to take a little bit. And this is actually, I didn't freeze here. I think this is, um, I think the thing crashed last time when I was saving it or changing some of the edits or something like that. Uh, let's see here. We're going to make this a little bit more green, a little bit more. We're going to change the saturation a little bit. There we go. 
now the colors are a lot more vibrant and this is usually what you'll see in photos of Hawaii people usually make the colors a lot more vibrant um, that's yeah that's usually what we'll see especially when people take ocean shots like this this is the raw photo of me shooting the ocean today usually when you see someone shooting the ocean and people are uploading them people will often make it more blue so the sky is bluer there we go that's usually what you'll start seeing it's right there oh no that's not uh, let's see saturation boom right there so you change it up a bit, and now the ocean looks blue, the sky looks blue, the grass looks greener. Now you can do this on the fly. You don't have to worry about opening up any of the uh, uh, Vegas Pro or like Magic X or whatever video program you use. And it's just quick and simple. Now if you're trying to edit and cut things together, let's see if we can merge. Um, I am going to cut out a little bit of this video right here and I'm going to export individual section let's see if I can do that right here merge section merge it right here cut and export individual sections right, right there we go so it looks like you can actually export I'm not going to mess too much with that it looks kind of confusing there's no real clear-cut way of showing what it's trying to do so I'm gonna kinda give it a thumbs down a little bit right there maybe they can give it a little bit more um, explanation on how we're supposed to be exporting it oh it looks like you can cut it and change each, each section on what you're doing but either way um, you can ultimately kind of adjust different parts of the sections of the video, so that's a big plus. And again, it has all the same uh, options as from the videos, or the images, so that's really cool. Um, probably the number one thing I'm going to be using this for, other than uh, maybe changing something quick in a video, which will more be more or less private, I'd definitely be using it to rescale images, rescale photos, uh, videos, and change the format, because that is just... You can't argue with a good planned or just like a good quick um, format change. And yeah, definitely. I have to give this product a thumbs up specifically for that reason because it's so quick. It's a relatively cheap program from what I understand. And it's going to be going on sale here soon. And yeah, keep your eye out on it. It's called Liquivid. As you see, it's a L-I-Q-U-I-V-I-D. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this is very helpful. If anybody has questions, please ask in the comments section below, and I'll also put a description on the Liquid Vi or Liquivid's uh, Steam webpage so you can check it out for yourself and maybe look for my review. Hey, check out my review. Give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Tell me what you liked about this video or any questions you have about the uh, review, and I will uh, try to answer them the best of my abilities. Have a good one, and game on.